Hello, truth seekers. Well, I'm sitting in my set using my real camera because I was recording for Smart Catholics. There is a new session, I should say conference, Emmanuel it's called, and it's just a bunch of 15 minute videos inspiring you to love Jesus during this time of the year and also to bring Jesus to the world. And my topic, ironically, or maybe not, maybe it was a God incidence, is about joy. And we are in the third week of Advent. Joy. Gaudetta Sunday is what we experienced this yesterday. Uh, you all get this on Monday. And I just want to say that joy is incredible when God gives you that gift. When you look at life like it is a true blessing that all the things that you have materially, financially, in your family, in your faith, all that you have is from God. You look at life joyfully. You can look at your trials and the things that are happening in your life with joy. Because guess what? We're growing in our trials. We're learning how to be humble and to give it all to God. We are learning that we should be joyful because guess what? After this life, which is not easy, certainly not always easy, you might have your moments, but we're all challenged. We are all battling something in our lives. We're fighting sin, temptation, addictions, illnesses, deaths in the family, financial hardships. We're all battling not just one thing, but many things. But when you put it all in perspective and you think about the fact that I am going to be in heaven if I keep trying and if I keep my heart focused on God and I continue to ask him to change my heart, I will be filled with joy. And it's a gift from God. I used to seek happiness in what the world told me would make me happy and it never worked. It was never sustainable. And the joy of faith and, and how happy I am that God came into my life is incredibly, I don't even know what to say. It's incredibly powerful. It's, it's sometimes overwhelming when I sit there and I think about what God has done in my life and how many blessings he's bestowed upon me, how many challenges and sinful ways he has healed for me. How much brokenness in my life has he fixed? I am so grateful. And so I want you to tap into joy this week. No matter what is going on in your life, you might be freaking out about the world situation, but we have to remember that we have faith in God. We have trust in God. And we should be happy and joy-filled and bring that joy to the world. Just around this season, joy to the world is there for a reason. Jesus is fantastically joyous. In our lives, we should constantly bring Jesus to the world, his joy. Nothing is ever that bad. Because guess what? There is the promise of heaven. And the more you draw closer to Jesus, the more he'll heal you, the more he'll draw you near. It's just so beautiful. So if you're struggling with joy this week, just start counting your blessings. Start counting them out loud. Say, God, I am so grateful for my life, for the fact that you've created me for the family that you put me in or the trials that you had me in in my life because they have made me who I am today. Lord, I thank you so much for the house that I have, for the running water that I have. If you've got a car, if you've got heat, if you've got food, a stove to cook the food. I mean, you just keep going on and on and on and you will realize 
how blessed you truly are. And let's not forget to thank him for our gift of faith because that is the most important. That is what keeps us going in the troubled times. And joy, let's pray for more joy this week. Let's bring joy to others. Let's be sure that we tell the Lord that we believe and that we are filled with joy because of him. Alrighty, everyone, have a joyful week. Have a blessed week. And remember, an attitude of gratitude, your litany of thanksgiving, is what will turn that mood, if you're not in a joyful mood, right around. I promise you that. Just start, start it up. Start it up now if you need to. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed and inspired week. Take care.